Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, alhamdulillah. Wa sallallahu wa sallam wa baraka ala sayyidina wa habibina Muhammadin rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa man wala. First, it is my pleasure to be here with my beloved imams all around Chicago. And second, I wanted to take the opportunity, inshallah, to congratulate all our communities here in Chicago, all Muslim communities uh, all over the U.S. and also the entire Ummah by the blessed month of Ramadan. May Allah grant all of us guidance and acceptance and may Allah make us from the people who Allah is pleased with them and they are pleased with him. Ameen. For my topic, level of fasting, the best way actually to explain that, to follow what Imam Al-Ghazali, may Allah have mercy on his soul, that has mentioned in his book, Al-Ihya. He said, be informed that fasting is three different levels. The first level is Sawm al the popular fasting that most of the people perform or practice. The second level is Sawm al that you know, special fasting level and that, you know, many of people perform or practice. The last level of fasting is the extra special fasting, Sawm Khusus Al Khusus, which is a few people perform that fasting. And you know, for uh, each one of them, Al Imam Al Ghazali, may Allah has uh, mercy on his soul, that uh, mentioned, you know, some details. For the first level, which is the popular fasting, that when you prevent yourself from eating, drinking, and, you know, fulfilling your desire or having any, uh, like, uh, kind of sexual relationship. Second, for the second level, when you uh, prevent your hearing, sight, tongue, hand, foot, and all your organs from any sinful act. Last but not least, and the most important one, when you prevent your heart to get busy but with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the highest level of fasting that Imam al-Ghazali has mentioned in his book. And basically what we need to do in the Ramadan to upgrade our fasting from the Sawm al which is the popular fasting, to get the level of Sawm al or the Sawm uh, al al khusus the extra special fasting. And this is basically to start you know, knowing about each one of them and to try to follow the order that Imam al-Ghazali has mentioned. And, you know, amazingly, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala already uh, mentioned that in the Quran. If we look at the ayat of al-Siyam that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in Surah al-Baqarah, the first ayah ends by saying, لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ And the last ayah ends by uh, saying, لَعَلَّهُمْ يَتَّقُونَ But between these two ayahs, there is three different ayat. And this ayat, amazingly, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala started with the first one, شهر رمضان الذي أنزل فيه القرآن and the end of this ayah is وأن تصوموا خير لكم إن كنتم تعلمون and I think this is related directly to the first level of fasting that to fast is best for you if you only knew about that so it is about knowledge this is the first level of fasting which is most of people right now they understand that they are being asked asked actually uh, obligatory to fast if they are feeling or fulfilling their uh, Islamic pillars. Second, if you go to the second ayah where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, شَهْرُ رَمَضَانَ الَّذِي أُنزِلَ فِيهِ الْقُرْآنَ etc. in the end, لَعَلَّكُمْ تَشْكُرُونَ You might be grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the level of being grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not easy. It's not just by saying, you know, I'm grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I do thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala most of the time. It's not about that. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in the Quran about the family of Dawood alayhi salam needs to work hard to get that level. And last but not least for the heart, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned that, uh, to get the level of al-Khulafa al-Rashidin. This is actually the best to explain this. لَعَلَّهُمْ يَرْشُدُونَ Rushd is not something easy to get. So the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says عَلَيْكُمْ بِسُنَّةِ وَسُنَّةِ الْخُلَفَاءِ الرَّاشِدِينَ الْمَهْدِيِينَ That follow my sunnah and the sunnah of my Khulafa al-Rashidin. So he named them al-Rashidin. Why? Because, you know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala offered them this uh, blessing. And why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the first ayah says, in kuntum ta'lamun, talking to you following the second person uh, point of view. And the second ayah, la'allakum tashkurun, that you might be grateful. Also following the same, while the last ayah was, la'allahum yarshudun, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talking about them, following the uh, third person point of view. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not want from us to like have showing off or to be really proud of what we have done since we are asked to do more and more. 
and also because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you know used the second person point of view for la'allakum tashkurun and in kuntum ta'lamu because we are in fasting but la'allahum yarshudun this is the fruit of fasting that would become inshallah after fasting we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to he to to be to reach that level of al rushd and to be from those people Allahumma ameen barakallahu lana wa iyyakum fi ramadan walhamdulillahi rabbil alamin